Hello friend, in this video I am going to discuss what to open queries inside Power BI desktop. So here if you go click on uh, transform data. So here the new page that open Power Query Editor. So they are already imported SQL Server tables. So here EMP DPT employees department. So it's come from SSMS, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, EMP DPT employees. And uh, here you here you can see dev1 dev2. So this all of CSV files. Now here I'm going to combine employees. So this is the employees data and total rows 107, 11 columns are there. So this that I'm going to combine with the departments. So we can achieve this by using merge queries. So about the merge queries that I already discussed in my last video. So here let's see open queries. So you need to click this open queries and here the table must be selected. And here open so this here tab table to open so this I'm going to show you first two tables and here this is the current table it's selected going to select with department now if you uh, click ok here you can see table dot combine so employees and department now you can see here so this is or uh, till this this is the record from employees and this come from departments and here total rows it's now 134 and here after let's uh, uh, connect EMP and DPT so EMP has uh, 8 columns 14 rows and uh, DPT has uh, 4 rows 3 columns so here you need to select uh, first and uh, you need to go up end so this time going to use up end queries as a new so here emp table it's come there so this is the primary table and uh, going to up end with dpt now you can see this part is for EMP table and here and this is the part for DPT table so since so uh, add here numbers of columns or varies so that here it's uh, added other columns and uh, not in the same place but uh, when uh, columns are same then uh, it will not added others it will merge only on the same row so let's so uh, see here so dev1 and dev2 has a uh, uh, same id name and here id name same or uh, and uh, 20 helen row that uh, present inside dev1 and dev2 now here let's click as new and here you can see dev1 comes and going to merge with dev2 now you need to click on ok and one extra query it's open here you can see it's all merge so first one is till there this is the record or uh, to dev1 and here this is the record to dev2 so here duplicate value also it's uh, displaying that means uh, it's uh, just like union all union all rec return or uh, everything duplicate non duplicate and here after I am going to combine more than two of uh, files or tables so going to select uh, file 1 so this is the record 1020 file 2 3040 file 3 60 80 90 and file 4 90 so here let's uh, select file and here append queries open queries as new now here after select three 
and uh, going to add file 1 file 2 and file 3 press ok and there is one new query is op op created and here you can say all merged ok I here this all merge now here after uh, this so uh, I'm going to here you can see this has uh, uh, two columns and this has uh, three columns now I'm going to merge dev1 and dev2 and file 3 so here let's uh, select this option here append and uh, 3 more than 3 so dev1 dev2 and dev1 already selected add dev2 add file 1 now if I press ok here you can see so dev1 dev2 value that merge and uh, here and uh, here this is the record for file 1 so by with the help of append queries we can combine more than two table three table or records on the one place and if has if a uh, table has a uh, similar uh, structure similar columns then here it will not added the uh, other it will not added extra uh, columns and it uh, display the record only at one place okay like uh, not adding here it's all are in one place because everything is the same at here so this the way we can use append queries inside power bi power query editor so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you